Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be making a mid-autumn festival sweet treat called Rose Marble Snow Skin Mooncake with Chestnut Salted Egg Custard Filling. Without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Firstly, let's mash the cooked salted duck egg yolks in a bowl. Once it's done, pour them into a wok. Then mix in the custard powder, milk powder, sugar, salt, pumpkin puree, last but not least, unsalted butter. Give all the ingredients a good mix over medium heat. Make sure to use a heatproof spatula to stir the mixture for the entire time. You can pre-mix all these ingredients in a mixing bowl, then transfer into a wok, which will work out exactly the same. When the butter starts to melt, you can see the mixture becomes thicker as you cook it. When the colour starts to change from yellowish to a bit of orangey colour, our filling is nearly done. Once the filling starts to pull away from the wok and spatula, it's ready to be taken out. When you get a texture like this, then it's perfect. Transfer the cooked filling into a bowl to let it cool down. Next, let's prepare the snow skin dough by mixing some icing sugar. Together with some wheat starch, glutinous rice flour, rice flour, and salt. Then give all the dry ingredients a good stir. After that, add in the rose water, followed by the condensed milk. And milk. Mix everything up well until it's all incorporated. When the mixture is smooth and without any lumps, carefully pour into a non-stick baking tin. Thank you. 
then cover it with an aluminium foil to prevent the vapour from the steaming process dripping onto the dough. Place it over vigorously boiling water and steam it for 25 minutes with the lid on. While waiting for the dough to be cooked, let's portion out the fillings. Scoop a tiny amount onto your hands and shape it into a sphere. After that, place a cling film over it and stick it into the freezer for about 1 hour ish. Alright, our dough is cooked by now, so let's remove it from the steamer. Carefully lift the aluminium foil a bit to let the dough cool down for about 7 to 8 minutes. What I'm using here for the second filling are some ready-made chestnut paste. So let's portion them out into a sphere shape. These are easily found in most Oriental supermarkets or you can even homemade them. Place a cling film over it and refrigerate it until it's ready to be used. Now, let's get on with the snow skin dough by pulling it away from the tin and gradually pour in the olive oil. Knead the dough for about 10 minutes or so. Oops. Adding in more oil. Continue kneading the dough. Add in the last bit of the oil. Once the oil are completely fitted into the dough, it's time to do the window pane test. When the dough stretches out beautifully and it doesn't break, then we are good to go. After that, cut two-thirds of the dough out and set it aside. Then gradually add in the rose syrup into one-third of the dough. Knead the dough until the rose syrup is completely binded in.
go in with a little bit more of the rose syrup guys don't be too alarmed by the intense red color because once the dough stretches out the color will be more subtle once the color is completely blended in it's time to divide both of the doughs into equal portions Divide the plain dough to about 25 to 26 grams per piece. This recipe should give you about 10 portions. After that, weigh the roast dough to about 13 grams each piece. Now, let's form all the divided doughs into a nice round sphere shape. Simply tuck in the dough a little and then roll it in between your palms. Same goes for the roast dough. Form it into a nice round sphere shape. Next, combine both of the doughs together and stretch them out a little, then give them a twist, make sure to compress them a bit and after that, form it into a sphere shape. Place both of the doughs on top of each other. Flatten them out a little and give it a twist. With a little bit of pressure applied onto the dough, form it into a sphere shape. There you go, a beautiful marble effect. All ready, now let's assemble the mooncake. Take each dough and flatten it out just a little bit with your fingers. Then place the filling in the middle and carefully pull the snow skin dough upwards. Try not to apply any pressure on the filling itself. When you get towards the top, seal the dough up with your thumb and index finger, then shape it into a nice round sphere. After that, sprinkle a bit of cooked glutinous rice flour onto your palm and then roll the mooncake all over it. This is to avoid the mooncake from sticking onto the mold. Place the mooncake on a surface and shape it slightly a little bit taller so it's easier to fit in the mold. These pretty molds or stencils can be bought from Amazon or AliExpress. So now let's carefully pop the mooncake in. Once the mooncake is nicely fitted into the mold, hold the mold down with your hands and apply pressure evenly onto the mooncake, then release it. There you go guys, our lovely rose marble effect snow skin mooncake really pretty it's almost like a tricolor mooncake isn't it flatten the dough out just a little bit with your fingers what we are doing here is to pull the dough upwards instead of stretching the dough to the max to wrap the filling. This will help minimize the chance of the air bubbles to form in between the skin and the filling. 
shape it into a nice round sphere. I prefer to dust the glutinous rice flour onto my hands instead of inside the mould as it will cause uneven white patches on the moon cake. Shape it a little bit taller. Carefully insert the moon cake into the mould. Apply even pressure on the moon cake and then release it. Guys, apologies for this lengthy video. I hope I've made it enjoyable to watch. If yes, please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Until my next video, let me chill these pretty mooncakes for about few hours before slicing them. Filling is perfectly centralized. It's best to cut these snow skin moon cake when it's semi frozen. Bye, guys.